we're gonna let them go for probably about another half an hour and uh, we'll see how they turn out well welcome back uh, the weather got a little too warm on us too quick so the maple syrup season is over sadly we ended up with about 30 gallons of sap uh, which would be about what about four four pints of syrup I think which would do us fine. Uh, we still got a bunch from last year, so this will still do us good. But I'm going to show you guys how I take these uh, taps out. I don't know if there's a right way or a wrong way. Most time, I just take a claw hammer to the back of it. Get this bag off. Let me go ahead and take the bag off. Just take it in there and just pop them right out. That's about as easy as it gets. Then I just store them in a five gallon bucket until next year. But uh, last year I didn't wash them out. This year I'm gonna wash them out just cause it's a whole lot easier. So I don't have to mess with cleaning them when I get them out of the bucket. And some of that, I didn't know if you could see it when I dumped it out there. Let's see if we can see it in this bag. The sap turns milky. You can see it right here. See how it's not clear? It's got like a milky film to it. You may not be able to see it on camera there. But it turns milky. It's uh, That's when you know it's getting bad. Welcome back, one and all. We are going to use some of our maple syrup that we got. And we're going to do some maple glazed smoked chicken. So, we're just going to start by pouring a little maple syrup all over everything. Get it all coated in real good. Then we are going to put a top coat, a famous Dave's chicken rub. syrup on there to hold everything. Should have done the bottom sides first probably. Take them out to the smoker, throw them on, and let them set for a couple hours. I'm using some hickory pellets. 
that's usually what we like to smoke with. Usually works for everything that we do, so. I think some of this, since this is going to be an experiment, we're going to do some barbecue on some of it, and the rest of it we're just going to do just with this glaze concoction and see which one we like the best. So, next time we know. I think, well, I'm just going to save some of this. All right, we're gonna let that go for probably two or three hours. I'll keep checking it. Oh, I mean. All right, let that go and we'll check back in a couple hours. All right, it's been about two, about two hours, 20 minutes. They are internal temperature at 141. And I've got me a little bit of maple syrup, brown sugar. I did put a little bit of salt in it to tone down the sweetness. I'm just going to put a little glaze on there. On some of them. Then I got some, some sweet barbecue sauce I'm going to put on there on the others. And we're just going to try and see which one tastes the best. about all I'm going to do with those. For a little, I'm just using some honey sweet from Kroger. it all on there. I'm not going to put it on, but I guess some of it's going to be thick. Alright. There she is. Got the barbecue sauce there. Got the two legs there, one's barbecue sauce, one's the maple syrup concoction. Those two are maple syrup, that one there, so we're gonna let them go for probably about another half an hour, and uh, we'll see how they turn out. All right, we're gonna pull these suckers off and uh, wrap them in, wrap the whole thing in aluminum foil, and let them sit for a while. I had to do some moving around, because this is actually the hot side of my smoker, so it cooks faster over here than it does over here. Why, I don't know. That's just how she operates. And I finished them off at uh, 250 for about an hour. I didn't say that the first time, but but I did. I smoked them for two out two and a half hours, and then I finished off cooking them. And, and the smoking was about 145, 150, something like that. And then I finished them off with uh, at 250. Well, everybody, that's going to be the end of this one. Uh, sorry I didn't get more pictures of the chicken or like a video of us eating it or anything like that. Uh, it got in. We was hungry, so we ate it. And I didn't think nothing about recording it or doing anything like that. So 
So I apologize for that. Next time I'll try to do better and try to get that recorded and everything like that and do do a little more to it. That was a just a spare the moment deal. We was driving downtown to, to a bigger town from where we are. And uh, we said we wanted to smoke some chicken. So I was like, well, we just went to the store, grabbed a bag of, bag of chicken and just went to it. So this was an unexpected deal. So I didn't get it all recorded. I apologize. But uh, but next time I'll do better. But that chicken was awesome. That's the best chicken I've ever made. Uh, I highly recommend if if you if you do have a smoker and want to do something like that, do that. that that's, that's a good way to do it. No recipe, just pour maple syrup on it, put so a rub of whatever you want on top of it. Then I put the barbecue sauce on some, maple syrup on the other. Both of them was very good. I can't uh, I can't tell which one was better, uh, but they, everybody that had them uh, liked them both. So I'll probably do them both again at some point. So, but all right, well uh, I'm gone, and uh, we'll just catch y'all later.